Hey y'all, welcome back to Beauty with Todd. Thanks for coming back to my channel. So today I will be showing you guys how I slayed this middle part here. It looks so gorgeous. You guys, this is the perfect hair for spring. A straight back middle part with the little baby hairs because you guys know I love my baby hairs. You guys, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but it looks good to me so let's go ahead and get into this video so I can show you guys how I prep my hair to stay like this with this middle part so the hair this is the hair that I received came in like this cute bag and has lashes little brochure and here you can see the hair is like a really nice silky texture it was really nice especially when I flat ironed the hair the hairline did come pre-plucked so that was great I didn't pluck it at all you have about six inches parting space in the the middle and then you're just kind of limited to the side so it's perfect that I did this middle part pushed back so here this is what the wig looks like after I have um, bleached a nice and shampooed and conditioned it I'm just going to take some of my powder foundation and put that down my part since I didn't do the ball cap method on this one and now I'm just going to brush the hair down so I can flat iron the hair and I'm just doing this really briefly because I'm going to go back and flat iron the hair again. I just wanted to get it somewhat straight so I can go ahead and like define my middle part and actually show you guys how the hair, you know, works under heat. So it, it straightened out pretty well. I actually like the way that the hair straightened. And then towards the end, I went back and added some bio silk, which is like my best friend. Okay, and to get my hair to mold to the middle part, I just sprayed some got to be glue free spray on my hands and then put that right down the middle and brushed my hair back. And then I'm just going to add a clip to the side so that it can kind of like pretty much mold this way. And I just keep using the got to be glue spray or you can use mousse or like some type of setting lotion because I have been doing that in my other videos so either one will work fine and then I'm just taking out little pieces of baby hair and just swooping that nothing too major so I'm just taking out little thin pieces cutting it and then I will swoop it so that's how I was able to achieve this look I'm kind of skipping over it because it took me like a long time <laughs> to do my edges for me to get them to the point where I like them so just take your time so that you won't be rushing and have like really really thick edges so I'm just going to take these like sideburn pieces and cut that as well so that I can just kind of swoop that back and that's how it looks and once I'm satisfied I'll just spray some more holding spray comb it back and then I just leave it like that so it can like actually mold so I'm going to do the same thing to this side what I did over here you don't have to add baby hair as you can see it looks fine without baby hair but I like baby hair so I added some so I just went ahead and put like a big rubber band on my hair to help the rest of the hair just stay back with the clips because I just wanted to make sure it mold into um, this before I was able to take it down and I'm just adding a little bit more foundation to the part just to make sure that you can see it and everything looks well. So after that, I just let it um, dry for about 10 minutes. And here I'm just showing you guys how nice this hair looks. It's really soft and flowy and actually really thick. So after like 10 minutes, I go ahead and took the rub band off, combed through my hair. And the front is pretty like hard and crunchy. So I just took my comb and just combed that out. The hair will stay like molded, pushed back. So you don't have to worry about that. Or if you don't want it like too hard and crunchy, you can just use set and lotion and it won't get it like that hard. So now I'm just going back in with my flat irons to get everything, you know, really nice and smooth and silky. And then I'll go in with my hot comb to help me define the part a little bit more because I didn't use a hot comb at first. I just used um, like holding spray. So here I'm just going back in with the hot comb so everything can be really nice and flat. I love how it how the wigs looks when it's a middle part and the hair is like pushed back. So it looks like way 
better and like more realistic to me versus just having like a middle part straight down. Even though that way it's cute, don't get me wrong, it looks good like that, but I also love how it looks with the baby hair. So that was some bio silk and I'm just putting that on my hair. And y'all, once you add that bio silk, like the hair just completely changes. I have been sleeping on bio silk. I don't know what's been going on, but honey, ever since I got bio silk in my life, for my wigs it is so bomb and that little bottle was only like a dollar or two so i need to invest in like the bigger bottle you guys let me know if you try bio silk and how you like it because i am in love with it so let me know what you think about this video definitely click the link down below if you would like this perfect spring hair to get you a middle part and slay all right guys i love you guys please thumbs up and subscribe peace out